If a friend comes to you and tells you, how can I be happy? What would you tell them? It's too easy to say because there are so many things. Comparing your happiness to other people's happiness is a great way not to be happy. Be true to yourself. Be who you are, I mean. Come, I will show you. It's a long way. When was the last time you felt happy? Was it when that nice girl gave you her number? Was it when you got that job you were working so hard for? Or was it when you were a kid? Sometimes we go through life without thinking how we actually feel. Are we happy? Are we sad? Keeping our minds busy distracts us from our real emotions, how we actually feel. Today, I'll be interviewing people and finding out how they live a happy life. How old are you? I am 24. You can grab it if you want. Oh, definitely. Okay, that's good. Are you happy? Well, if I can be quite honest, uh, happiness is something subjective, but in general, I can say I'm a pretty happy guy. I mean, I laugh and I cry, but I'm a happy guy. How old are you? Uh, I forgot. 26. 26. Both yes. of us, yeah, 26. And are you happy? I think so, yeah. Happier here with all those base cakes, but yes. <laughs> How old are you? 23. Are you happy? Oh, I'm so happy. What's your definition of happiness? Uh, money. Money. <laughs> yeah. Can money buy happiness? It was bought mine. <laughs> <laughs> How come? What did you buy with money? Uh, I just bought an ice cream. I had oh. a really good time with it, you know. Nice. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. A friend of yours comes and asks you, Hey Jack, you're happy. How can I be happy? What would you tell them? Cookie dough ice cream, baby. Are you guys happy? Yes, definitely. For six years already. <laughs> What's your definition of happiness? Um, it's more of a... Uh, uh, expression, you know, uh, to um, put the positive and the negative together, you know, to open up your eyes more on uh, if something negative comes towards you, to see it in a positive light, make everything positive, you know, be more open and, and friendly. That's how I find happiness, you know, not to be closed and shut down by every negative thing, because as you can see, life is a bit negative, so positive is. Happiness is more of making everything positive. Yeah. Are you happy? I am, yeah. What's your definition of happiness? Uh, being healthy, being able to uh, do what you want to do, have good friends, family. I think health is really the number one thing. On your age, you, you do a lot of stuff that doesn't necessarily make you healthier, but you don't care. At my age, you want to be healthy because the chance to become 100 is most likely very small. Yeah. And when you're 26, like you, the chance of becoming 53 is pretty big that you get that age, sure. right? So, How would you describe happiness? I can't describe it with, with, with words, though. It's just a feeling. Maybe you're doing the thing you like to do, which gives you energy instead of what takes energy. I don't think it's there all the time. And I don't think we should try to achieve that level of, OK, I'm living a happy, happy life, I'm happy. I do everything that makes yeah. me happy. I think it's more in, in small moments. Happiness in my way is uh, when you are internally in balance and when you can observe and let's say some things are not like as you like, but you can still, let's say, put it to perspective, move on with life without feeling internally very chaotic and disturbed. That I think is happiness. For me also, uh, I, what I see that sometimes I'm not internally peaceful, that uh, makes me unhappy. Yeah. Then I start complaining and uh, uh, sometimes I regret also that why I took that step or why shouldn't I. So in that way, I think, uh, yeah, you have to be from inside more peaceful and not be chaotic and uh, yeah, look things in from different perspective, then it, it can make you happy. What's your definition of happiness? Well. For me personally, it's not only uh, defined in just believing and just, you know, being a positive guy, uh, but happiness more so is like beyond the feeling, you know? It's not just uh, like, oh, right now in the mood, oh, it's a vibe. No, it's, not, it's, it's beyond that. Happiness for me personally is like to fulfill something that I can see other people prosper. So for me personally, it's like if I can see you do well, that gives me happiness. If a friend comes to you and tells you, hey, you're a happy guy, how can I be happy? What would you tell them? Oh, I cannot say it easily. I will say, come, I will show you. It's a long way. <laughs> Comparing your happiness to other people's happiness is a great way not to be happy. I feel like, you know, the grass is always green on the other side. And, you know, to be happy is to find, you know, your own meaning in things and not to compare yourself to other people. Yeah, well, happiness is around 
I think everywhere, like you just have to know and do the thing that you love to yeah. actually like be able to happy, I feel. And if you know what you like to do, then just go after that. Be true to yourself, be who you are, I mean. If you are true to yourself, there's no one in your lane. There's no traffic in your lane, there's no burdens, there's no stops in your lane. You're in charge of your own life, so be, be yourself. Express yourself, talk on the tone that you want, think the way you want. You know, be strong enough to say no, be strong enough to say yes, take pride in your good decisions, you know, be you completely, express yourself based on your personality, not of how you look or how you see the world around you. Be yourself, yeah, express yourself. Yeah, I think uh, we have. We should not also underestimate the basic necessities of life. Eh? That's a pity that in this world there are still people who are have to fight with the very basics of the life. I would imagine that as in 2023 we should be in a position to arrange at least that much with all the wealths and definitions yeah. in the society. Once that is there, then people should stop a little bit of com complaining and focus on improving internal awareness and knowledge and be try to be at peace and find their own path. There is always a path and I am sure young guys like you, smiling and looking around, you are very intelligent and you know the society very well. Yeah. You should not be disappointed and sitting in a, uh, you should be able to find uh, right friends, group, the motivation needed. And no matter where you reach, you are always better than where you started. So with that faith, you should move on with your life. It's too easy to say because there are so many things, in my case, I did something where I was good in, and that was playing piano. Uh, and I was developing that, and I was choosing for things what gives me energy, but yeah, it's too easy to say, well, if you are unhappy, then you have to do this and this and this, yeah. and then you will be happy, because that's too easy to say, of course. Yeah, it makes sense. Can money buy happiness? Um, unfortunately not, no. Like we are, like how we say it back home, this is a, a, a concrete jungle. But if you go into nature, there's where happiness is. The beautiful sound of the birds that doesn't ask for any fee. The rivers that, that flows, the fishes in the sea. And just the sound of the wind through the trees, that's, that's pure happiness, yeah. But some conditions, I think money can buy in some situations. But if you're taking with the broad mindset, I, I would say no. If you would, you know, yeah. give me one million or go live in nature, I would choose nature. That would give me peace and happiness. I'm a little bit dual in it. If you don't have any money, it, it's a big concern to be happy. Uh, can money buy happiness? I would say no, but you need to have a decent amount of money to have a certain level of happiness. Some people get very happy when they buy a Rolex of 50,000 euros, but I guess a Rolex of 5,000 euros is as good, is good enough, right? Yeah. So for me that doesn't really count, but there's a certain level of, 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 of money you need to, to have to be healthy, to remain healthy, so that you can buy healthy food, uh, and not just the fried stuff and that you can buy uh, when something breaks down in your home that you can buy it so it uh, a little bit in the middle i would say yeah. it helps yeah. to be happier i think i think i would always have answered with no but i think i've uh, i've seen the the opposite so i think uh, on a certain level you need a safe base yeah and when your base is safe when you Hey, when you have your, your roof over your head, when you have your food, when you have your basic needs, then I think uh, there's not much you need extra than to just find, yeah, like I already said, find the little moments of happiness. Uh, yeah. And that can be found anywhere in, in any day. But of course, your basic uh, needs have to be there yeah. to, to really feel uh, happiness. Do you have any questions for me since you're the one interviewing? What is your definition of happiness? My definition of happiness is when you get to do what you love, that you get a feeling inside of you that you cannot express and sometimes it's difficult and sometimes my girlfriend knows I get like a rush and then it, she knows I'm happy. And my definition of happiness is just doing what people like, getting together with friends, family and just enjoying life in whatever that way is for you. Do you believe in eternal happiness? Uh, no, I think you cannot achieve eternal happiness. I think you going ups and downs, 
in life and it's a roller coaster, right? So your life goes up, then it goes down. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult, but it's how you get through them and how you reach towards a state of happiness. It's not about the getting to happiness, but it's more about a constant, yeah, the journey, let's say.